Hello everyone and welcome back in Elden Ring. This game just got updated and I'm dying to find out that my mod still working. <sighs> the loading screen still working, so that's cool. But I'm more, more concerned about the Rani skin, you know? And yeah, that still work as well. Cool. So yeah, they added PvP and bunch of stuff that I don't give a shit about and no one showed because PvP is atrocious in this game. But yeah, no one tell from software about PvP quality so they added Arena. So yeah, if you thought the, the the invading was bad, I can only imagine the arena with like 10 second lag, because that's what people are reporting. So yeah. <sighs> anyway... Um, where we last time finish? Yes, there is like the, the grace, hidden path to the highlight tree. I don't know. Yeah, but there is no any grace here, which means I have to go to Grand Lift of Road again and go from over there. I mean, it shouldn't take long, there is no other enemies here. But yeah, in this episode, I, I wanna finish this, you know. I wanna get to the highlight tree. Yeah, 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 we seen all of this. So, I'm surprised there is no grace here. It doesn't really make sense, like it is the new area, so... You expecting when you actually enter the new area, there's gonna be grace at the beginning, but no. Not anymore. Mmm, not anymore. <sighs> yeah, last time I already finished this place. Kill the boss here, so now... You just have to try to get to the end. Yeah, and they apparently nerfed the Moon Veil I'm using right now. My sorcery seems to deal more damage than before. I'm not sure why. But it seems to deal even more damage than before. I don't get it. Whatever. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not very good place to be, I'm gonna be honest, and the next place is even worse. So yeah, there is a grace over here, cool. Yeah, hidden path to highlight tree. And welcoming consecrated snow field, the place which is literally just recreation of frigid outskirts because you cannot see shit in this fog and the difference between frigid outskirt is at least there the the the, the blizzard you know the blizzard like disappearing every like 10 seconds so you can see your surrounding for like 5 seconds and then it happen again you know so you kind of have to wait until Blizzard will disappear to know where to go. But here you seriously have no idea where is anything. So yeah, you cannot see anything, you have no idea where is anything. I hear the Skara, but I don't even see where it is. Oh, there it is. Cool. Thanks for Somber Smitey Stone. And yeah, there is of course the next place with the invisible enemies, you know. And I believe this is where the two... Yeah, there is early day, but if we're gonna play in night, 
There's gonna be like two night cavalry for me to kill. And if I can find the grace, I'm gonna try to kill both of them, you know? Well, there is this. Yeah. I can't see where I'm going or what I'm doing even. Yeah. I like how enemies dealing no damage to each other and they almost kill me in just single hit. That gives me several complaints and even more questions, you know. Oh, there is a snail over here. Can you just hit him? Here we go. I'm not sure why there are snails here, but they are here. <sighs> and I do have no idea where this statue actually pointing out, you know, just because I cannot see. I is there a catacombs like somewhere here? I don't even know. No, like seriously, I have no clue. It's pointing out like it is somewhere over here, but yeah, have fun finding it. Actually, I have a bad feeling I just went in a circle. I guess. So, yeah, this statue pointing out somewhere, yeah, over here. So, maybe it's over there somewhere. Yeah, like somewhere over here. There it is. I found it. Yeah, so I can just turn this off. Oh, consecrated snowfield catacomb. I wonder what I will find here. Those catacombs look exactly... Okay, thanks. So now those enemies are way tougher than before, but I was going to say... So now those, those catacombs look exactly identical like the previous one. Oh great. Yeah, there is no way I'm gonna hit this. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm not that bad in game. Of course. <sighs> I'm not that bad, but I'm still going to die by the stupid design of enemies. An unbalanced area I'm playing right now, you know? Yay! Like how guy didn't even hit me and I lose health. Like what kind of bullshit is that? He seriously didn't even touch me and I lose health. Why? So where are you supposed to go? I guess over here. Yeah. Supposed to go over here. And... I remember this. Yeah. I remember this. This is not cool. Look at the damage of throwing knife. Like for fuck's sake, those are simple throwing knife. Don't you think they not supposed to take half of my HP? Of course, and then there is this thing as regular enemy now. 
It wasn't garbage enough when one of those was a boss, now it's just regular enemy. Yep. It's cool, it's absolutely cool. The shit like that you would expect to see in like mods, you know. But no, here, shit like that you're gonna see in regular game. Oh boy. Yeah. That didn't even hit me. Say what you want, that didn't even hit me. I'm already out of healing, so there is not much what I can do. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Love this place. And obviously because this is regular enemy, this shit respawns now, you know? Ah. Like, I'm dead. One hit and I'm, and I'm pretty sure, you know, dead. Yeah, and there is more. I just can't stand this shit. Yeah, there, there is just no way I can kill even single guy now with just one hit. That's why exploring this place is so fun. Yeah, and look at this. There is another one over there. Can I use this? I mean, yeah, but this falls in a place where am I, so... Yeesh, I'm dead here. Yeah, I am dead. I'm dead because this game don't understand what is the difficulty balance. It just doesn't. There is no any difficulty scaling in this game at all. Since the beginning, Till the end. There is no such thing as difficulty scaling. So pretty much the only one way how I can one shot enemies is to cast this and yeah, hit them with fully charged arrow. That's the only one way. Oh good. And then of course we have the fucking section like this where enemies just waiting to hit you. Yeah. So cool and fair. Where it's so fucking cheap and dumb. I don't wanna play this shit. I seriously don't, but I'm so close of finishing this. Oh good, now this, this fucking bug. But yeah, I'm so close of finishing this, I will. Mm hmm. Right. And of course, told you, this asshole respawn. He respawns like this is just the regular enemy now. Yeah. The boss, the tall boss which almost one-shots you is the regular enemy in this game. Regardless of your level. That's how this game plays. That's not what I wanted to use. Is it does more damage? No, it does less damage. Yeah, and that is no better actually, you know? Or... It is slightly better. But still. 
it takes so much to cast this. Yeah, and they can kill you just like that. There is no way. No way you can do anything here. So, I hope everybody has some popcorn because every catacombs I'm gonna find here, this is how exploration of every catacombs I'm gonna find is gonna be in this place. I'm gonna be dying over and over to the cheapest shed by the first enemy in place. You know, it's incredibly aggravating and yeah, pretty much at the end of this, just because I'm not losing any souls, I'm gonna have like billion of them. Yeah, and every time I have to hit this, literally every single time if I wanna progress, I have to hit this. And if I will forget, I'm just gonna get hit and I'm gonna lose over half of my HP already. Yay! Of course. This shit also has projectile, but his projectiles are better than mine. So you cannot even chase him. Yeah. You seriously cannot even chase this. Look how cheap it is. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Fucking cool, man. I'm surprised at this point weapon art can even kill those creatures, you know? And I got a feeling this is not the right way to go, but guess what? I don't fucking give a shit. I'm gonna die everywhere now. Doesn't matter where I go, I'm gonna die, so... Who cares that I'm gonna go here or other way, you know? And since this does more damage, let's just use this, actually. Maybe it doesn't deal any more damage than the nine other fake, you know? There we go. Cool. Ah, <sighs> can't wait to see what else is here. So I'm gonna assume that was it, and I have to choose the other path now. Great, so that wasn't the right way, mm, and I don't think there is any other way. Oh never mind, there is a way over here. Oh good, look. My friend Scarlet Road Knight. Which is definitely not cheap enemy in this game at all. Yeah. Now the question is, is it just one or there is more? Of course. Yeah, I knew the game wanna be cheap. Uh, the game will not be incredibly cheap. Hands down. There we go. This will do it. Now obviously there is a guy here which is gonna hit me because I cannot hit him. And apparently they, in this latest patch, they nerf the poise damage, the moon veil, projectile, weapon art does, you know? 
But I don't really care about this. Like I'm at the point of the game where nothing can really help me. And don't pretend you are dead. I know you are alive fine and well, you know. Oh, but one thing I didn't know, there is your friend here. And once again, I dodged the attack and the guy still hit me. You noticed that, right? Yeah. No, they did not follow me over here. Uh oh. This is bad. Like they did, did not even get in staggered by this, so about what we talking? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't know what to do here. Well, I might try to hit you through wall like this, but no, the, the, the thing is you can hit me through wall and I cannot hit you. No, like seriously. Wow. So there is one pool. There goes two. And tell me that wasn't cheap at all. I dare you to tell me. And that doesn't even lead anywhere, so what's the point of this? I guess... I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it, but my plan was to go up, you know, my plan was to jump on this filler and progress this way. I don't even know if this is the right way, but I don't see any other way. I mean, there is a way on the left side, of course, and I got hit by this cheese shit. <sighs> yeah. There is a way on the opposite side, you know. To this but I don't think it is the right way yeah and hmm how am I supposed to trigger this there we go so we have boss over here yeah UPIA And the, 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 the great part is I cannot kill this guy I just cannot kill this guy I try with this That hit me No, it will not hit me it will not hit me, but I cannot even hit him, you know. But if I can, like, make you aggro over here. Of course. I swear, this game and the fucking cheap design. But I love it. But I love it. So I have nothing now. Cool. So let me return to Grace, obviously. Because, you know, there is no chance I'm gonna beat the boss. On this level of unfairness, there is no way gonna beat the boss with... with nothing, you know? 
Uh, I'm not saying like I'm gonna beat the boss heavy all of my flask, but at least I have more chances. So here we go. Yes, great. So let me guess, there are like two watchdogs here again to fight. Now it is a frenzy dualist. So this one has Scarlet Rod, but he's still getting staggered by single weapon art. Which once again showing how unbalanced is this game, how boss is incredibly easy compared to the entire fucking place where they fucking placed him. It's incredibly dumb and stupid. Now like, hands down. It's incredibly dumb. Yeah. So now... Mm -hmm. This is way out pretty much. No, not this way, the other way. But if we are in the area that broken, difficulty wise, let's just level up. Yeah, any opportunity to spend my souls is good. Just because I know I'm gonna lose them. You know? Now... Where do I... Supposed to go? Like, there is like... There is like main path which is supposed to follow here. You cannot see it, but there is. Like, if you will look at the map... There is a main path set up. And you're supposed to follow it. And it will lead you somewhere. Either to your destination or to your grave. One or the other. Mm -hmm. And it was the second one, you know. It led me to my grave. And I swear, shit like that wouldn't be a thing if not the fact I have this stupid fog. Seriously. Fucking close your eyes and try to play any game and tell me, is this gonna be fun for you? Because if it's not gonna be fun for you, then well, this is how do I feel right now, you know? Just turn, your mon turn off your monitor, close your eyes, and tell me that playing the game is fun like this. Because that's exactly how do I feel. I can't see shit, I can't see enemies, I can't see where is a cliff so I won't die. Yeah. I can't see five feet away from me, so yeah, ahead of me, away from me, I just can't see literally anything. Like that doesn't look like safe path to me, you know, it looks like endless pit, the abyss, but no, it is a solid ground. And yeah. That looks cool. I literally cannot see. Oh, never mind. Now I can see. A bit. Or at least I could for the second. Ah, <sighs> yeah, and we have map. Great. Now what would be even better? That the having a grace here. Because they are, yeah, the snipers. They're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me and they're gonna kill me.
And we are now in the town, great. But it's not over yet. No, it's not over this episode yet, don't worry, the, the suffering... The suffering... I don't know how to finish the sentence, to be honest. I guess the suffering never ends, that's how I can finish this. Oh yeah, and there is a scar up here. <sighs> there is a scar up here, but uh, my objective is going over here, I guess. I'm not too sure. Oh yes, I can summon my Mimic here. There is a snow crab here. Is this is why I'm supposed to be summoning my Mimic? Yeah, and I was just about to say, but that crab did nothing to me, why should I kill it? And then, he is all of a sudden aggro on me. Yeah. Now, I just need to find where those two assholes are. Great Worm! Of course! Look who's back! Now I understand why it gave me option to summon my Mimic. Because there is another Great Worm with probably instant one-shot. Well, it's not instant one-shot, but it's close, thanks to his lava. Yeah. So just let me drink this. Yeah. Hey, you catch this. Okay, this one has a lot of health actually. Mm-hmm. Have a lot of health. And let's just do not even bother, there is Octopus literally right next to him, so I wonder how exactly am I supposed to fight with this guy. Yay. Yeah. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're going to die instead. Well then. Just another three dragon hearts. To be honest, if I'm not mistaken, I have already enough dragon hearts, so, you know, collecting more makes no sense. Because I'm pretty sure I can buy every... Yeah, dragonic incantations already because I have enough currency to do it. And there is Ancient Dragon Smiting Stone. Oh well. What is the good episode without the, 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 the same bosses, right? What is the good Elden Ring video, you know? <sighs> without fighting with the same bosses over and over. Well, at least we got this. That's cool. And I think about upgrading other weapon for incoming bullshit, you know? I'm not talking about Malenia, because nothing will help you against Malenia. Malenia is garbage diffic is garbage fucking boss by default, and nothing will actually help you against her. But I'm talking about Fire Giant. The Fire Giant is also the, the, the bullshit enemy. Yeah, it's like 
he's also a bullshit enemy. They don't want to really deal with him at all. I wonder where are two knight cavalry which I can fight with. They're supposed to be in the middle of lake, like over here maybe? Ah, oh, there is a grace here, cool. Mmm, more souls to spend. Yuppie, yay. I guess I should... I should say thank... Thanks. Should say thanks to this worm because, yeah, thanks to him I could level up twice more, so, yeah. And the Night Cavalry is literally over here. Oh boy. Yeah, and this is the trick, just like with three sentinels, where you have to kill both of them, you know? Have to kill two of them to get rewards, so yeah, if you will kill one, he will respawn. Oh boy. Yeah, look at the damage. You might think if you're leveling up your character and your vigor is at 40, you will not get... Shit on by the game, you know, and you won't die in like one hit or two hits, but no, you would be wrong. Really. One, two, three. Stop killing me. Please just die, don't make me cry because there is also your friend over there which I have to kill. Like, I seriously don't even have any souls from you. Because I have to kill your friends. Mm-hmm, and there is also this guy over here, which is great, because, you know... You know, those guys are very, very cool. Can I, like, aggro the, the, the main thread? Yeah, I can. Okay, that was a mistake. And it was even bigger mistake because the drinking this lasts twice, <sighs> twice longer. And as I said, now the 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 first bitch I killed respawn. So yeah, in this in this place, even bosses are respawning. Cool, right? Yeah. <sighs> as soon as I kill those guys, this episode ends. Soon as I kill those guys, this episode ends. <sighs> Just because I lost my souls. Nah, I lost my souls, so I don't really know where I was with this. I guess on the left side there is the weird Makar. I guess. I mean like I went all the way over there and by the way there is invader over here. Who can be over here to fuck me? Like seriously. Oh you again. Great. You are too far to even dodge it. Now, come a little bit closer. Yeah. Of course. Thank you for wasting my time. Ah, oh, there's another ancient dragon, Smitey Stone. Although I think before I found the one which allowed me to upgrade the regular weapon, and now I have the one which allowed me to upgrade my Moon Veil. And is this is the right place where I'm supposed to be going? Maybe I should actually lose my souls and. Maybe I actually should lose my souls, you know? 
I don't know. There are crabs here over there. Yeah, what means this is probably not the way. Even if I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this path there is something and let me guess, I'm recording like 40 minutes. Of course I did. I swear. Mm hmm So what, you have to turn the right instead? Instead going left? Mmm, well, I found them. So they're like wandering over here, so let's just put a mark in case I'm gonna die again, okay? Yeah, and as you can see, the, the guy with the flail respawns, so you have to kill both of them. If you didn't believe me before, the game can be that fucking unfair, well... I think I proved my point. Come on. Okay. That wave completely. So actually, after fighting with the flail and glaive, the guys with flails are way easier to, to deal, you know? Can I hit you once more? There we go. Ah. So there goes this. Now, the, the one with the glaive is on the other side. But agree here is gonna be quite a challenge, you know? Hey asshole, come at me. Oh boy. I just noticed with this arrow I didn't even hit the rider, I hit his horse. Mm hmm Oh boy. Yes, 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 yes. Come at me, please. And this should be... No, it's not gonna be... Can I ask what the fuck that was? Yeah, the enemy's on the ground. What I need is to fucking perform the backstab. His back wasn't even turned to me, you know, like... I don't understand this game sometimes. Well, there goes another ancient mighty stone. That's a lot. That's a lot. I still think it's not worth the suffering. It's still not worth the suffering. And as you can see, the enemy is here dropping decent amount of everything. So we might just try to kill all of them to see what this... Yeah... What they trying to protect with this? Because there is a treasure inside this caravanas. Come on. So, rest is just regular guys and two yetis. That's okay. Now, please. Stand still for a second. So what is here? Mm-hmm, flowing curved sword. I'm not sure that I really want that, you know? And what would be the, the, the best way to deal with this? Probably this. Can you believe me if I say there is actually the better version of this meteor? 
Yeah, there is actually way more stronger version than this. As this, this is already not broken enough. Like, look at the damage. Yeah, you wanna tell me the 8000 damage is not strong enough and they had to implement it, the spell which is even stronger than this. I love how, un how broken and unbalanced this game is. Absolutely love it. And yeah, it was sarcasm. I hate it actually. And... Hmm... Yes, I'm gonna die by the stupid ball of the light. That's cool. Said this episode gonna end the moment I kill the... Yeah, the night cavalry. But at least this time, Drews, due to the fact I lost my souls, I know where where it was, you know? So yeah, it was over there. Cool. It was over there and there is something on the left side, but the thing on the left side we're gonna explore the next time. Yeah. I don't wanna be slaughtered by you. Sorry. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching this video. As last thing, I'm just gonna level up once. Yeah, before I'm gonna lose my runes. But the truth is, I don't remember did I ever lose my runes, you know, permanently during this entire playthrough. And yeah, I have enough smitey stone to upgrade something fully. Yeah. And I'm missing one golden seed to to upgrade my flask. And I know where the golden seed is. It is in Nokron, but I don't really know how to get to it. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Elden Ring, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.